my name is Axel. You know spring can bring a lot of storms. I know it's clear today, but I was wondering how a supercell was formed. Uh, yeah, I think we just heard from a future meteorologist, and that is Axel asking a great question, asking the question, how do supercells form? Um, and Rob, I don't know if we could take me back on camera too. I wanted to show you guys uh, my little drawing that I made here. Uh, basically, basically a supercell thunderstorm is, uh, is a thunderstorm with rotation. So this is my uh, kind of crude drawing of a thunderstorm cloud. And so you have the thunderstorm here and thunderstorms are made up of updrafts. And so an updraft is rising air and that's how clouds are formed and that's how rain is formed. So within an updraft, if this starts to rotate, then that's when a supercell is formed. Basically, it's a rotating updraft within a thunderstorm. So this is the downdraft too, and that comes out as rain. So uh, basically, most tornadoes, almost every tornado comes from a supercell storm because it has rotation, but not every supercell will create a tornado, but that's the definition. So a supercell is basically a thunderstorm with rotation. And in order for these to form, you have to have upper level winds that are going in a certain direction and lower level winds in another direction. So there can be some rotation within these uh, updrafts. So Axel, that's a great question. Love the anemometer, by the way, too, that he had uh, his little weather station next to him, too. So Axel, great question for Kevin's classroom today.